Hey you guys, coming back with another video on Fabio Hart. Uh, I'm trying to knock a lot of them out uh, today. Don't know exactly when I'm going to post this, but uh, trying to knock them out. Uh, what I want to talk about on this particular video is dealing with, I guess, sexual harassment in the regard of maybe your contact person or whoever is over the cleaning portion of the company flirting with you whether you're female and you got this guy you know flirting with with you coming on to you or vice versa if it's a woman she likes you you you're the owner you're the guy you're cleaning they're coming on to you how to handle certain situations like that now i have had my fair share of the client trying to flirt with me right uh but I know not to cross those lines. I know not to mix those two together, okay? But not everybody know how to handle it. I get more calls uh, from my women subscribers that the guy has hired them just because they were a beautiful woman, okay? And a lot of guys don't talk about this on YouTube, but it's, I mean, that, that talks about commercial cleaning, but it's very, very, uh, uh, prevalent these days you know because and I tell people when you when you go to put in I'm sorry when you go to do your walkthrough okay as soon as you walk in that door you're getting judged based upon the way you look okay um, when you're doing your hiring I've done it everybody know when you hire when somebody hired you or you're doing uh, you're doing the hiring a lot of times you look at the way the person look and you kind of envision them in your shirt or envision them in your uniform you try to make up in your mind if they will be a good casting call, I guess, for your for the position for your company, right? All of this go hand in hand with what I'm saying, you guys, okay? So how do you handle, I guess, the sexual harassment, the flirtiness, or uh, the, 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 the contact person being touchy-feely, you know, he's talking with his hands, but rubbing your arm or something like that and some of you might have boyfriends girlfriends husbands wives and you like you know what I need this money I don't know what I should do how should you handle it here's what I would do and here's what I've done uh, I simply let them know uh, you know in the most polite way okay that I'm involved okay you don't have to say I'm married or this and this and that. It's, I'm sorry I'm involved or, you know, or you can kind of make a hint towards that. You know, if they're having this type of conversation with you, you can say, you know what, right, you know what, me and my husband, we did that, you know. And it was a pretty, whether you did it or not, right, me and my girlfriend, yeah, we did that. Uh, we, we seen that movie the other day, you know, or, you know, because sometimes they talk, have personal conversation with you right but they'll be in such a way that you feel like they're coming on to you so even if you haven't seen the movie even if you and your husband never did that just put it out there so they'll know you know that uh, you're involved okay you can just say I'm involved or I'm sorry I'm, I'm seeing someone if they just blatantly ask you um, because sometimes I know how I feel okay you might feel like oh you know what I really can't afford to lose this money but I'm really not into this guy that's flirting with me. I'm really not into this female that's flirting with me, right? Or sometimes it could be the same sex. You know, it could be a gay guy, a, a gay woman, whatever the case is, right? And you just let them know, I'm I'm sorry, I'm not interested. You know, but you do it in a polite way. You don't have to be like, oh, I'm not gay, right? You, you know, or, oh, I'm not single, right? You just be polite, be professional about it, but get your point through, you know? And, uh, you know, it's some way, somehow you could uh, just just put out there that you have someone. You know, whether you're married, you say, you know, or you're not married. You know, if they're talking about, I don't know, you guys get where I'm going, right? You're having a conversation, um, you know, oh, you have such beautiful eyes. And say, oh, thank you, thank you. Um, then they might make a slick remark like, uh... You know, where do you hang out? Where you like to hang out? I'm telling you guys, this happens. 
if this happened to you, I, I promise you, somebody on my comments will say, you know what, Fabio, you were dead on with that video because this happened to me. I didn't know how to ha handle it and I lost the account or I still have the account and I had to do, I'm telling you, this, this shit happens, you guys. It happens. That's what I'm talking about, it, okay? Uh, you just have to let them know in a, in a nice way that, you know, you can't hang out or, you know, they say, well, you know, if, if you like, you know, uh, you know, we, we're going to have a party here. Or we're going to have a Super Bowl party, you know, or we're going to have a Christmas party or we're going to have a company party. You're more than happy to, uh, to attend. And, you know, they might smile at you and do certain things or mannerisms to show you that they're interested. And he used to say, you know what, I'm sorry. Uh, I can come, but, you know, my husband get off of work. And uh, uh, would it, you know, would it be okay if I bring him with, you know, with me or you know oh, I'm sorry my girlfriend uh, sh she has to use the car and we have you know with our daughter and with the, you might not have none of this shit going on right but what you're doing is putting out in the air that you're not available okay you're not single you're involved right involved could be you're married involved can be you have a boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever the case is okay so this is just a quick video I wanted to throw out there kind of how to deal with flirtatious uh, clients uh, this is the way that I've dealt with it you know I you know I have a way with people you know so I, I know how to deal with it so I'll talk to them look them in the eye and let them know that I'm just not available you know and uh, but you know I keep it lighthearted you know I, I'm not aggressive or mean about it right because I like cleaning here you know that's why we clean here I like the business it's just I'm not interested in you. I'm Fabio Hart, the only person that could ever stop you from starting up your own dreams and making it to the top is you.